Nar Shada, the Smuggler's Moon. The whole place is basically one big nest of the most treacherous, backstabbing, rotten junker rats in the Outer Rim. But there was one. Well, he was the worst of them all. IG-88, a class 4 assassin droid and one of the top bounty hunters in all of known space. Merciless. Unstoppable. But maybe, just maybe, not irredeemable. Where are we? <laughs> Greetings. So you're the bounty hunter? You are the bounty's client? Neva, yes. The last two... You're a droid. Ugh. I thought you'd be human or Trandoshan. I can assure you, droids are superior bounty hunters. Really? I've heard some impressive tales about Boba Fett. He's human, isn't he? You may proceed with the details of the bounty. <laughs> His name is Box Triff, a gangster who thinks this is his district. I stood up to him, and when he couldn't catch me, he took my little brother. Triff kidnapped Nivan and has him somewhere. My brother? He was a soft one. One time we got up before dawn, and we saw this thing. Only material details about the bounty are required. Right. Triff is holed up in this building. I bribed two of his engineers to get this info. The lower level is a speeder chop shop. His office is on the 74th floor. It'll be a fight the entire way up. The man has his fair share of rivals, and he's mighty paranoid, so his defenses are deadly and throughout. E-web turrets, goons with body armor, controlled access turbo lifts, and enough explosives to down an AT-AT. Fun. Triff keeps a data pad inside a safe in his office. My brother's location is on it. Kill Triff and retrieve the data pad. Bounty accepted. Initiating tactical protocols. Off you go. Who's fucking thought? Jesus. <laughs> Already screaming. There. Boom, 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 boom. Jesus. Box Triff. Okay, do you need a speeder painted? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, like what's happening with the performance and stuff? It's so shit. It's pretty this update because my headset is working properly with everything else. Like, what the hell? Will you allow me ingress? Okay. Oh my god, huh? <laughs> I can't seem to, uh... <laughs> oh, Come on. Please don't kill me. Allow me. Your aid was invaluable. Eh. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Um, the game just not progress properly or something? Yeah, like the textures are missing. Oh my god. Okay, now there's a door for some reason. What the hell is happening? What with the bugs in this update? Like, holy hell, it was not that bad in the first part of the game. Mm -hmm. 
Sure. Treacherous fox, Triff. And no one will be harmed. Really? You're just gonna stroll in here and nab the boss? Is that what I'm hearing? You only have moments left to cooperate. Oh, I'm shaking in my armor. See all these worker droids? They know who's in charge around here. And you? You're just like them. Another droid that needs to be taught a lesson. You are mistaken. My main protocol varies from theirs. Oh yeah? How's that? Ah. As your corpse demonstrates, I am programmed for target. Former owner, possibly vision impaired. You may return to your tasks. <laughs> What a weird controls. Going on down there. Another damn bounty hunter interrupting my sleep. One or two or possibly 39 locals go missing, and this is what I get. You know, two of the hunters came in here spouting some nonsense about a change of heart. And I sure changed their hearts. Stopped them from ticking. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> but I never thought I'd see the day it had happened to you. The infamous IG-88 had a change of heart, too. My ventricular piston chamber is an unalterable mechanism. Your death is incentivized by credits. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, I suppose you can try to get me. <laughs> but the climb ahead of you ain't gonna be an easy one. I'm gonna reduce you to scrap and use your head as a speeder ornament. So, welcome to the show! The only thing who is standing really in my way is shitty performance. <laughs> so weird. We got a guest on the way to 12. Make sure they receive an enthusiastic reception. Show this rust bucket to the scrapyard. Now! Disrupting the current would provide a tactical advantage. It's like aimbot. <laughs> What? Oh my god. So weird aiming. Okay, so it's delay and shot. No, no, no. What did I go? Oh shit.
think so. I don't think I've played a game worse in performance ever on Quest. Like, I can't do shit. I like want it to be over. <laughs> Screw this place. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Yes. <laughs> you see this? This is just ridiculous. And it's just specific to those two tales, like the garden and Bounty Hunter. It's kind of a joke.
quiet. Shit. What happened? The building's lights just flickered. Truff has impeded my ascension. I am temporarily locked in a lift. Okay. Which turbo lift? There should be ID numbers somewhere inside. Six one two one five X. Got it. Hold on. What did they say? Ugh. You can bypass his lift override by. Well, I was going to ask you if you had anything to use as a conductor, but in your case, I think your body will do. First, there should be two control panels nearby. Break them open. Such a relief that bribe paid off. I gave his engineers all the money I had left after the bounty. The poignant connections organic share a little more than costly liability. True. Some of the means I've used along the way... I, I hope they justify the end, but my brother... He's a part of me. Wouldn't you do anything to get a missing piece of yourself back? I would simply order a replacement part. <laughs> From a well-reputed manufacturer, of course. The now grab both conveyance modules. I have completed the necessary. <laughs> Okay. Our efforts were successful. How about that? He shouldn't be able to shut it down again. And I think you may be right. Droids are better bounty hunters. Boba Fett could never do what you just did. Well, I suppose he might be able to if he had two hydrospaners and some adhesive. Transmission to <laughs> Oh, ain't that just perfect? This blinking sensor is telling me you overrode my override. Affirmative. Your demise is imminent. Once again, ah, someone turning over a new leaf, you still got a real cold-blooded style going. Why did this day ever start? Jesus.
Godwaldi. He gave the most thoughtful life day presents. Ach, hello. Are you neither sibling? Me? No. I went with another thief to kick. Chief people were trying to squeeze me or info on my ball. So, Yoli, but the other side now. Are you either the one of the thinnest killer out there? I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just no one's gonna buy it when I tell them I was rescued by IG-88. I did not rescue you. You were inadvertently freed. <laughs> Thanks for rescuing me. Wait till the rest of the Queen Widow Underworld hears about this. Where are you going? Okay, well. Oh, nice. This is like hard for difficulty, performance and the game on top. Okay, what do I do? Open. <laughs> Um. 
There's no face. There an alternative method of entry? I don't think so. Why? Irrelevant. The safe's primary function has been interrupted. Bounty objective completed. A thousand thanks to you, Bounty Hunter. I can get Navan back with this data pad. I'm constantly getting him out of scrapes. Your personal details remain immaterial. Please initiate credit transfer. I'm happy to pay you your due, but doesn't the good you've done here today mean anything to you? There are a lot of people on Nar Shada that need your kind of strength. I have a hunch, you and I, we could make this place somewhere good folks feel safe to call home. You know, my mother, she'd always say, fate will do the calling, but it's up to you to answer. Tempted to take your silence as a yes. Are you thinking about leaving the lore of death and credits behind? I was merely attempting to pinpoint the frequency of a long-range transmission. Oh. The Empire has issued a substantial bounty on a Corillian freighter that has eluded my subordinates for the last time. Report to the deck of the Executor for a full briefing. Well, here at the crossroads. Say no to the most evil man in the galaxy and start over as something else. Goodbye. Aww. Seriously? <laughs> Damn. But otherwise, how nice of a story was that? I mean, forget the last bit, you know? Wasn't that heartwarming? You know, cut out the end. Very nice, all rainbows. <laughs> Look, IG-88 was a remorseless assassin droid who couldn't change without reprogramming. You know, but people? People like you and me? <laughs> Potential to change for the better is always inside of us. How about that? You buying that? Okay, fine. Next one's on the house. I don't know, man. Those two tails are so rough in the performance that I was like so done playing them halfway through just because of that. But I guess they were fine. I think Temple of Darkness still stands strong as the best one. Or, I mean, what we're gonna do with the First Order is gonna be the best one, actually. So hopefully it won't be tragic.